found a tool that has increased my work productivity significantly. It's super easy to use. We're working from home and you know, there's a lot of distractions. You know, I wanna use my time wisely and make sure that I'm working smarter and not harder. So that being said, this video here is to help you guys understand this tool, maybe implement it in your own work schedule uh, and hopefully it will help you. So if you have any questions, let me know, but we're gonna jump to the, the how to's of this program and see what it has to offer. All right, guys, so this is Phrase Express. Uh, if you just go to phraseexpress.com forward slash download here, uh, you'll, you'll be taken to where you can actually select the operating system um, and then download it uh, locally and, and have the client. When you download the client, it populates this little icon here in your, your uh, little bar up at the top and it shows you your phrases. So I'm going to just come here. Uh, let's, let's just come right here. So this is what the program looks like. Keep in mind, this program is running in the back end, so it's not always going to be uh, viewable. So sometimes you do have to actually enter into uh, the program itself to, to view everything. Um, so what we're going to do uh, is take a look at the layout of this program. As you guys can see, I have on the left hand side all of these uh, templates that I've created uh, for my, my day to day nine to five job. Uh, it's a lot of text that I'd have to type out every single time if I didn't create the shortcut. So basically, uh, we're going to create one together. I'm going to show you guys how simple this is. So if you come up to the new phrase, the first thing it's going to ask you is to populate a description. So this is going to be testing for video. Okay. The second option is going to be phrase content. This is what the, the phrase is going to contain, what you guys want, uh, what text you want spit out when you execute a hotkey. So I'm going to say this, this is a test or a video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so that is my uh, phrase content, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a hotkey. So when I click it down here, it says type the shortcut. So I'm gonna type a shortcut. For me, I want command, let's do, uh, let's do command C, okay? Now, command C gives me a warning. It says, check carefully if the hotkey may unwantedly trigger the phrase. Now, what this is referring to is we already have uh, predefined shortcuts on our keyboard. So for example, on a Mac, copy and paste is Command C and or Command V. On a Windows, it's Control C, Control V for copy and paste. So we like to avoid using those already predefined shortcuts on our keyboard to eliminate you know, confusion. Now, if you're dead set on having a, a hotkey be uh, the same as an already predefined uh, shortcut, what I'd suggest doing is selecting manual confirmation. A manual confirmation will basically require you to click tab to accept or to execute that phrase. Um, so that way it doesn't copy right a phrase if you're highlighting something right so it just it just asks are you using copy or are you wanting to use the phrase that you've already uh, created through phrase express so in this scenario i personally like execute immediately and i like to avoid uh using a hotkey that's already used for you know other predefined um uh, actions so for example i'm just gonna do um we're gonna do uh Option Command O, okay? Option Command O is gonna be my hotkey. So basically when I select Option Command O, it's going to execute, execute this text immediately. So I'm gonna quickly come up here and I'm gonna save that. We're gonna go to just a quick email here that I have, right? Let's do a new one here. Let's get rid of that guy. And so, Option Command O, here's the text that I wanna spit out on my email. There we go, all right, it executes immediately. It does not ask me, right? That's the, that's the beauty of that execute immediately. So let's go back, all right? So here's, there, there's the phrase. Now let's do one that uh, is a manual confirmation. So any change we make, we need to make sure we save it, okay? Now manual confirmation, let's see what that looks like here option command O actually you know what? I need to exit out of this program first there we go option command O and you see right here it says tab to execute 
I click tab and it automatically populates. So that's the basics of, of, uh, of how to use it. Now we have to close out of it here. So let's just right click and go to open program window. And that's it. That's really the extent of it. Um, I find that this is so helpful when, you know, if you're typing a phrase, like for example, um, please let me know if you have any questions. I'm always typing that out. And I found that that took a long time. You know, it's I'm, really, it's not a long time, but over a long period of time, you know, that, that little amount of time adds up. So I just do command, I'm sorry, uh, control shift P and it automatically populates that text and it just saves me a bunch of time. All right guys, so that is Phrase Express. I hope this was helpful. It was super simple. Didn't get into the nitty gritty of it, but gave you a gist of, of how you guys can increase your productivity. Uh, I use this daily and I continue to uh, think of ways that I can create new phrases to be more productive. Uh, if you guys have a phrase that you guys use all the time that you think others could benefit from, I encourage you guys to drop it down in the comments below and, and uh, just help each other out. You know, we're in the business of helping each other other out anyway thank you guys again for taking the time to watch this video let me know what you guys think uh you guys have a great day don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe i got that flip flopped but you guys have a great rest of the day and uh get productive we're in the business of helping each other out <laughs>